this is the last alteration for my 2019 cube stereo so let's go So for almost two years, uh, this has been my workhorse. This is the 2019 Cube Stereo 150 TM C68 on the 29. So this is their Enduro bike for Cube. They have the 150 and the 170, and then you have submodels for uh, for the Stereo 150. So this is the top of the line for a Stereo 150. So let me just talk you through um, all the changes that I've done over the years. So let's get started. So we'll start with the cockpit uh, mods. This is the Industry 9 A35 32 millimeter bar stem. So it has a plus five or a minus five, depends on how you flip that uh, handlebar stem. So it's been here. I think it's this is the my first mod uh, for this bike, along with the Deity uh, uh, Skyline 800 millimeter carbon bar which did me great so I just put on uh, like, uh, custom vinyls over it and then of course you get to see this honking piece of LED so I just jerry rigged it and it's a 7 inch light bar which does me great me. Long, long on the bar would be your Insta360 remote for all the uh, bike um, bike adventures that I had, and then a brass uh, uh, bike bell, which has been kind of off, but you know it's there. And then this one right now is the Wolf Tooth Fat Paws. So with the regular Fat Paws, that cam. On the side is your. Wolf tooth end case, which I can't pull right now, but goes on to one of the sleeves here. But yeah, show you. Of course, it's not working right now, but you have the end case tool system from Wolf tooth that uh, houses uh, your tools, which you know well, I used to have the multi tool over here and the tire lever and the bar plugs, the bar, uh, the bacon strips and the chain uh, breaker in this side and alongside you have the wall tooth remote um, uh, drop, uh, dropper pulse trigger along comes the uh, headset uh, that comes to stock is the FSA full speed ahead and custom decals to go along with the colorway that I'm going for obviously you can see carries out throughout the the bike um based on orange uh, vinyls just fake ones hoping to get the the real ones once i change all these fork setup but it comes with the with this uh, fox 36 factory shocks um came with 160 currently set up to 
have a 180 millimeter travel with an arrow shaft uh, swap gun last year. And then, please, uh, newly placed all, all these custom, Fox custom decals. Goes uh, matching with the Kashima. And then we have this big honking piece of metal, which is the Magura MDRP, 220 millimeters uh, rotor, along with the MT7, 45th anniversary, USA, Magura USA 45th anniversary. So it comes with the gray housing, along with orange um, uh, accent, ring accent. And that's your MT7 with an HC3 lever, so you can uh, customize how far this one comes out uh, in, and then how sensitive, or you can depress the, the actual barrel inside. So that's that for the front. Part of control is your Chromag. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, the lift. Thing. So it comes in the brown, and then uh, custom wrap it with the vinyl, along with the. Uh, Fox transfer 150 millimeter um, travel. We have the random um, rear bike lights along with some tools. We get my spare tube and we have this pro bike tool in here. One side with this big piece of entertainment to keep me company during my my writing so that's the JBL charge 5 it does me great awesome sounds awesome and then comes with the uh, factory uh, DH uh, not the DH the, but the Fox X2 uh, 185 by 55 millimeter trunnion mount and then down here you can see the SRAM 1 carbon cranks along with a customized Squidworks pedal. I chose the this colors here along you can pretty much uh, um, customize uh, your build as well with long and short pegs as well so that's what the game. Uh, forgot to point out this is the RRP uh, front mark guards mounted uh, right behind the actual Fox the factory Fox shocks. Um, I got the Maki Nuts uh, uh, mudguard on the rear and then you can see another 220mm uh, MDRP with the Magura MT7 HC3. Current tire setup is with 45 North Ratchild. That's a 29 by 26 Let's All the studs that I've replaced, I lost a hundred twenty of them I think <laughs> since last year um, the big piece the big upgrade that I did last year was changing all this drive train so I started out with the absolute black orange three millimeter offset 30t uh, oval rings does me great Got tiny uh, room for for the crank oh. I wanted to go on a 32 to make it a max of 34, but of course my frame is the limiting factor. And then you can see we have the SRAM XX1 copper chains along with an SRAM 1052 copper uh, cassette and then SRAM GX AXS wireless system. So that's the battery housing. We'll put in uh, some vinyl decals on there. Not just for aesthetic purposes, but so that I can easily spot it if it, if it gets uh, thrown out during the ride. So, get the orange and then uh, cover the, uh, the battery in an orange uh, decal. And then that's your SRAM access controller. And then tied it up with with the Magura uh, shift mix on in here make it one less clamp together so this is my build yeah, did me
great for all the cables that I did. And oh, forgot to point out, these are the Newman Evolution AL30. So it's aluminum 29 with a 30 millimeter. Uh, it says 30 millimeter uh, internal width. Just put on uh, accent decals just to, for it to stand up. And then you got the graphite, uh, uh, what's this, tire valves. So it does have like the, the core wrench to go along with it. It's easily, easily pop in, yeah. So, so yeah, so it comes with yeah, the Newman hubs. These hubs are, are 360 with new hub bearings and the 3060 ratchet ring installed uh, as I yeah, took, a, uh, took a good beating for sure so yeah, that is the steed that had been taking care of me for the last two years so yeah if you have any questions let me know and that's the shot on the side Thanks again for watching and then, yeah making this video who knows who knows what comes next but it's been an awesome bike for me did me great did me great on climbings did push my limits did push yeah me to get into mountain biking so it's been great so hopefully it does the same thing with you with you and your skin all right cheers guys and